Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. And man, I have got a tall tale for you, because we're gonna do the Maasai Giraffe, or Giraffa Camelopardalus Tipplescurchy, versus the Reticulated Giraffe, or Giraffa Camelopardalus Reticulata. So stretch out your neck, and let's begin. As always, we start with the similarities. First up, both the Maasai giraffe and the reticulated giraffe are subspecies of giraffe, or Giraffa camelopardalis. In fact, the other part of its Latin name, camelopardalis, comes from the fact that the giraffe was once called the camel leopard because... Some ancient stories believe that God made the giraffe from spare parts from camels and leopards. But anyway, as such, they're both the tallest land animals in the world, even taller than a double-decker bus. In spite of this, however, there are only seven vertebrae in their necks. Giraffes just get their longer necks by having bigger vertebrae in their necks, not more. Giraffes are also social animals that do gather in herds, but unlike elephant herds, giraffe herds are rather loose-knit as individuals will wander off to join other herds. But when giraffes do gather in herds, they often face in different directions to keep a watch out for lions. Like all other giraffe subspecies, both the reticulated and Maasai giraffe feed on bushes and leaves of trees, and they're able to rip the leaves off of the branches with their long tongues. The tongue of an adult giraffe is 18 inches long, and their lips protect them from the thorns. And when a giraffe has to get a drink of water, it has to spread its legs out very wide so as to lower its head down to the water hole. Giraffes also give birth standing up, so that means when a giraffe calf is born, it has a six-foot fall to the ground, and giraffes usually have about one calf at a time. Now, let's talk about the differences. Now, while all giraffes live in Africa, they live in different parts of Africa. For example, Maasai giraffes live in Kenya and Tanzania, while reticulated giraffes live in Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya. Like all other subspecies of giraffe, you can tell these two subspecies by the appearance of their spots. The reticulated giraffe has blotchy spots and neck-like patterns in the white parts, while the Maasai giraffe spots often tend to take a various form of shapes, mostly stars. In fact, a giraffe's spot pattern, like zebra stripes and human fingerprints, are very unique. No two patterns are exactly the same. Now, while they're both a subspecies of the tallest land mammal in the world, reticulated giraffes are taller than Maasai giraffes. A fully grown male reticulated giraffe can reach a height of 16 to 18 feet while females are somewhat smaller at 14 to 16 feet. On the other hoof, a fully grown Maasai giraffe is about 17 feet tall. Giraffes have also recently been listed as an endangered species. Even though the reticulated giraffe is the most common giraffe found in zoos, there are even fewer of them in the wild. There are currently about 8,500 reticulated giraffes left in the wild. By contrast, there are about 35,000 Maasai giraffes left in the wild, but all subspecies still face threat from habitat loss and poaching. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the Maasai giraffe and the reticulated giraffe. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. 
Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? Okay, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, for the next one, we're heading to Asia. And once again, it'll be time to kick back to the bare necessities. Alpha Lion Simba, out.